Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is draw debug string? Let's run through our quick little example here, and we get some text on the screen. We get the word box text. You can see it attached to that location. It follows me around, and we can actually see it through my character. And then after 10 seconds, it's going to disappear. So that's the basics of our draw debug string node. Now here's the default values, and we're going to go ahead and cover the actual properties now. The debug string node is pretty simple. We put in a text location, in this case, a location in the world where we want it to be drawn, and then we tell it what text we want to draw. So for my example, I'm drawing it at the top of my box, and I'm telling it box text. And when we run it, we see it, and we see that it's basically the left edge of our text, so this, the left middle edge of our text is basically being drawn at the top center right here, and it draws it that way. Now the text based test base actor we're going to skip for now, we're going to go to the last two, which is our color, which is the color to draw it as, and the duration, how long we want to persist for. By default, zero indicates one frame. Anything above that is the duration in seconds. So if I want to, for example, draw it for each frame and update it, I might want to do zero for the duration and hook it into a tick. And then it's going to go ahead and draw it every frame. Now the text test base actor, I don't know why they called it that because it's super annoying to say, is an interesting note. It basically reparents where the string is going to draw. By default, our location is an offset from the world. So it's a world location coordinate. If we plug in a base actor, our location now becomes an offset from where the base actor is at. So for example, I'll hit play, and you can see it says box text in the middle of the screen. It's not in the middle of the screen, it's in the middle of my character, and it's following our character as they move around. So for example, if I want to move this up, now I'll do 100 and it's going to draw it 100 above my character. And it's redrawing it every frame because I'm telling it this is the actor it should attach itself to, this is the offset from that actor, and then draw it every frame because we have a duration of zero and we're drawing it on the tick. So you get this nice text that's kind of attached to something. Doesn't have to be the actor. We could attach this to the box, for example, and it will draw it on the top of the box. But this is kind of nifty because it allows us to put some debug text into our scene that's always visible. For example, I'm going to grab my player character, grab his velocity, figure out how basically fast he's going, and truncate it down to an integer so we don't get the funny numbers. I'm going to plug that into our text, and we're going to see what happens. Now you can see my max speed is 600, and as my character moves, we can actually see their velocity really simply, always displayed on the screen, never occluded by anything, and it's a great way of debugging things. So imagine if you wanted to pop in, for example, the health of your character. You could easily just grab his health, debug it out for your debug functions, and easily see some values with the push of a button. Now there's two other nodes that technically go with this. Let me, well, one other node, the other one's for testing purposes. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw this information for 10 seconds at this location. So the draw is going to be our text box. We're going to go and draw this, and we get our text box. And we actually get some really weird stuff going on right here. And we're going to stop, and then we're going to see them disappear. Now there's a couple things here. I'm drawing this on my tick, so let's fix that. And you'll notice they disappeared. If at some point you want to get rid of any text you have on your screen, any debug strings, you can use the flush debug strings node. So what I'm doing here is I'm drawing, I'm going to draw this once for 10 seconds in that location, wait five seconds, and then flush my strings. And you'll notice it disappeared. You'll also notice when we drew it on the tick, it got rid of all of them. So anything we've drawn with the debug string, we can flush off the screen as needed. So for example, you're gonna stop debugging. You might want, you could for example, call the flush and boom, all your text is gone. And that's it, that's our draw debug string node. Location is where it's gonna be drawn in the world. Text is the text you want to display, colors the color, duration is how long it persists in seconds, zero being one frame, and our test base actor is basically an actor where it 
will attach itself. It doesn't attach itself literally, but figuratively it, it grabs the origin point of the actor you're plugging in and it connects itself to that location. When you have that set up, your location itself becomes an offset from the actor you plugged it into.